Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to have uh, images that move and a music track underneath it. So kind of like a slideshow type thing. So let's get into it. Going to open up iMovie, going to create a new project, going to create a movie. And let me go ahead and import some photos for us here. Okay, let me go ahead and select these four photos right here and import those for us. And oh, one more thing. I actually need to grab a song too. Let's go ahead and grab this one here, which I downloaded from the YouTube audio library, which is one of the benefits you get if you are a premium member, no commercials and access to some other things like movies and music and stuff like that. So pretty cool. All right. So what we're going to do here is grab one photo, drag it into the timeline. You'll notice that it defaults to four seconds. So the reason why it does that is because you go to preferences here, iMovie and then preferences, and you'll see it's set for four seconds. And also it's on Ken Burns. And what does that mean? That means it automatically has some kind of motion in it, which is cool, which is what we want to do for this one. And uh, a couple other things here. It You can set your transition length. I have it one second. And you can delete render files from old videos. It helps free up a little bit of storage. So pretty cool. And you got checkbox. Apply a slow motion automatically when you do it. So that's cool. Okay. So let's close that for a second. Sounds good. But if you did want to change it, you could do it to 10. And I think if you're doing a project where you want everything to be about 5, 10 seconds, you could do that too. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So from now on, anything I drag will be 10 seconds long. So now I need to change this one to 10 seconds. So I'm going to delete that. And I'll just re redrag it down here and it should be 10 seconds. Okay, you notice my timeline is like super spread out. So I'm going to bring it in a little bit. And what this allows me to do is it allows me to contract and expand the timeline. Not time wise, but just viewing in your timeline here. So they're both still 10 seconds long. Okay, let's pull these other ones in here. And you notice we have a slideshow here with these images. And if you want to control the actual movement of the images themselves, you just highlight an image. You go to your cropping tool here. And when you're on Ken Burns mode here, you have an end and a start. And what you can do is actually increase and decrease, move these around so you can get that look and feel that you want. So let's, uh, let's, actually do a start on more of a, a full screen here. So I'll go ahead and increase the size of this. And I guess that's good enough. And then, and I kind of want to focus on the middle of the bridge there, right there. Okay. And you can check this checkbox here, this the circle with a check in it, or you can just click anywhere else to save those changes. So let's do that. And now you'll see that image actually animates or has movement toward the point that we set. So you'll notice it's pretty slow. So depending on how long you want each thing to be on the screen and the music you have and just how long you want your complete video to be, you have to decide what you want to do with the, the time length here. So all these are set to 10 right now. I'm going to highlight them all by kind of lassoing them with a, my, my mouse or my trackpad. I'll go to I here. And I'm going to change these to, to actually five. So we'll 5.0. And it'll automatically switch those to five, which in turn speeds up your animation here. So it'll be a little bit faster. But still, each is set to five seconds. Just a matter of how much movement, how much difference between the start and the end in your Ken Burns will dictate how it looks and how fast it moves. So that's basically it. And if you have music, there's two places you can put it. You can put it down here at the bottom where this music note is, and that's the audio bed. And what that means is it doesn't connect to any of these clips. So it's on, it lives on its own. Or you can actually drag it right below, but it has to be able to attach somewhere on a clip. Sometimes this can be limiting. So in this example, since we're kind of sort of making a slideshow, I recommend just drop it in the audio bed. So it lives on its own and you can, you know, you could actually remove sections here, but it doesn't have any effect on the actual clips here in the timeline. So let me undo that. Okay. 
So we have our, our images here and they're animating. Let me go ahead and set this one a little bit different. So I'm gonna go to Ken Burns and maybe I want to focus on that biscuit there. <laughs> so let's do that. And then maybe I want to, uh, let's have it go from this corner. So I want to see most of the image. So it'll animate from here to here going up. Then we'll hit set again, start and end. And let's have a look at that one real quick. So I don't like that. I want it actually bigger. There we go. So we can see most of the meal when it happens. But it does actually end up on the actual biscuit itself. Okay, so that's the basics of what the, this video request was to actually have images that move with music. So that kind of takes care of that. But let's kick it up a little notch by adding some transitions in between here. So I think with this kind of thing, you'd probably want a either cross dissolve or cross blur. So let's do a cross dissolve. And again, these are set for one second. So remember with transitions, you have to have enough time on the left and the right to incorporate. That's one second. This, now this becomes 4.5 and that's 4.5. So you know you lose a half a second on each side. So just remember, make sure when you're adding transitions that you need that little bit of time here for both of them to kind of overlap. Okay. All right, let's finish this up here. And for the end, I think um, what I'll do is go to our settings here and I'll select fade in from black and fade in, fade out to black. So now at the beginning, you'll notice there's a little animation here. Let's make this a little bigger. I'll make it really big. So you can see there's that little image animation here that kind of tells you it's fading in and fading out. Okay, and let me lower this real quick so we don't hear it when we play it. So you see that it fades in, does this movement, and we have our transition. Let's do a transition here transition here and of course you can alternate transitions to different type you could do a swap you could do a cube even a mosaic let's try a mosaic here there you go so depends on you know the look the feel what you're trying to do here you can do a little ripple type thing yeah so <laughs> whatever matches or whatever you think whatever you like if you're trying to you know the look and feel that you're trying to get basically Okay, and uh, let's move this thing back up here so we hear the music. But what I would do here is if, if I was finished, so what I'll do now is uh, let's put the tape head at the end here, make sure that's highlighted, and then I'll right click and split clip. Or once it's selected, you can go up to here, modify, and actually split that clip there. You see that shortcut command B, which is a lot faster if you remember that. Use that little command sign and the B and it cuts it for you. So well, let's do it that way. And we'll just delete that. And I might want to actually fade it a little bit out and then fade it a little bit in by using this tool right here. And this basically would be my final product on, you know, imagine if I went on a vacation and I had like 30, 40, 50 pictures, I'd probably do something like this. I'd grab a couple songs that I liked. I'd probably set these to, I think, um, three to five seconds. Just basically give people long enough. And you know, when you're watching it, as you watch it, do you feel like it's long enough and you can make it longer or shorter? And then transitions if you want them or not. You don't have to have them animate if you don't want to. So let's set this one here for no animation. We'll go to cropping tool and we'll just do either fit or crop to fill. And then you could have it. Uh, let's do right there. It'll actually fill the screen and there won't be any animation there. But it's all up to you how, how you want to personalize it. And I think that's about everything for this tutorial. I want to thank you for watching. As usual, don't forget thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. And we'll talk to you next one. Peace and aloha.